The mists have rolled in on the South Devon coast and with it, the beginnings of winter. Neptune, named after the Roman god of the sea, is turning direct this month, allowing us to free ourselves of illusion. The animals are feeling the winter, but they're also loving their treats. The fog reminds me of the steamy month we're gonna have this month with a four planet stellium in Scorpio. It's gonna be intense. And the good news is that the planets are giving us two grand fire trines this month. So we'll be warm in our spirit and able to leap forward and accomplish our dreams. Scorpio, November is a very interesting month for you. In a way, believe it or not, you've got the power. The universe is singing your tune. And there's so many planets in your sign, it's rocking your vibe. So where do you wanna go with that? It allows you actually, a bit like the magician's apprentice, to conjure things up, to have certain experiences happen to you, to be the center of attention, and to kind of draw people to you. But as you know, be careful what you wish for. It could be that you decide lots of things or in the heat of the moment of having all of that attention, you make the wrong choice. So even though it's all good, more than all good, fabulous, just make sure that you think with great clarity about the decisions you're, you're making, because it's almost like being made king or queen of the month. You know, you are the king or queen of the month. How are you gonna rule your world? What are you gonna create in your own little universe? I mean, to be honest, most of the time we're the king or queen in our world, but you're really gonna feel it. There's gonna be signs and symbols that are showing you that indeed you have more power than you possibly know. <laughs> a sun and venus conjunction in your sign so you're appearing with all of your magnificence and the universe loves you things that you say and things that you do are drawn more towards you and people are like wow who are you you're fascinating so you know keep your feet on the ground and make sure you balance that love back to the peoples if you're feeling insecure and you're going uh, Michelle Knight, this is not the case. I can assure you I'm feeling miserable. I'm feeling terrible. I am locked away somewhere, feeling awful. The universe is saying, fling open that door uh, and get the support you need. I don't want to be glib about that if you are feeling depressed, but get the support you need. Take steps to seek the healing and the support and the love that you need and understand that you do have the power. You do have something extraordinary in you. You have an extraordinary depth. You have an extraordinary insight and the world needs that, and at the moment, it's calling you. So there is a full moon, and it's in your position of relationships. So you're very focused on relationships. There should be great insight coming to you about relationships. And you have the opportunity to transform, to use the moon's energy and insights and, and wisdom to come out of any hole you're in, if you're in an emotional hole, but also if you're feeling great about relationships, to spread the love and to, to give people a bit of your fantastic insight. We then have Mercury entering your sign and a four planet stellium in your sign. So it's very extreme. The positive of that is, as I said, powerful, everything's just, you know it's got this it's vibrating on your level the downside is if if you ignore it or if you are in a bad space you could feel that oh, you know everything is magnified so try to find some kind of comfort some some sort of connection to the things that you enjoy in life and you will have a great time this month you definitely the potential is there the best things in a more powerful way than usual goes on until around the 22nd where the sun shifts signs and there's a new moon and then your energy moves into the next phase which is all about digging firm foundations making your felt self feel secure building from what you've discovered and what you've created for the past months 
and you can let go of any sense of insecurity or a lot of it or something specific that's been holding you back and you step through to going yeah you know I can I can see it now I value myself and now I'm going to build up some solid structure so what do you want to build up is it in your career is it in your love life is it to to your home your, your your mind your soul whatever it is or maybe a few of those things you have the opportunity to really be on solid ground and you should feel on solid ground from the 22nd all through this month actually there's a sense of not only that two grand fire trines that are making you feel that you can build something connected to your career and you put your passion into it because you have a renewed belief in yourself take care and i'll speak to you soon if you enjoyed this there's loads of other free astrology readings and tarot readings on my website, www.michellenight.com, come and join me there.